Do you get tight in your lower back every time after you deadlift and it can sometimes go into the next day you're still feeling tight or even impede you from your, doing your next workout? I'm gonna go over today two movements that I give patients to do after they deadlift to help with just overall recovery and less tightness after they finish their workout. How do I know this? My name is Dr. Jeff Lewis. I'm the owner and physical therapist of Lewis Physical Therapy and Sports Rehab, and I've helped countless people get back to lifting pain-free and to do what they love. So deadlifting, a very common movement, and I'm gonna talk about this either in the sense of whether it's, if you're a CrossFit athlete, where you're doing some type of straight bar deadlift, or even a baseball athlete where you're doing, you know, more trap bar deadlifts than anything. I, this is kind of a side note, but I generally don't recommend straight bar deadlifting for anyone other than barbell athletes. And when I mean barbell athletes, I mean powerlifters, Olympic, Olympic lifters, CrossFit, CrossFitters. I just don't think the risk is great. Is I think the risk is too high for the reward for doing it with athletes. When it comes to the athletic population, we don't need them to be the strongest in the gym. We need them to be efficient enough in the gym and strong enough and fast enough in the gym that allows them to excel on the field. We never want to do something in the gym that's going to compromise their ability to be on the field. And I've just found too that trap bar deadlift is just a lot more of a comfortable movement for guys to get the feel of in terms of proper abdominal bracing, back positioning, and leg drive. Okay. So again, today's going to be about movements that we can do after deadlifting. So a lot of times I see patients, especially CrossFitters, they go into a wad and hey, there, you know, there's maybe like five rounds of a couple different modalities and there's 10 deadlifts each round at like 225 or something like that. So a pretty high, pretty high load and a pretty high volume. Not uncommon for people to either, one of three things happens. They get really smoked during the workout. They start to tighten up. They get tight after the workout or as they're feeling good, they feel good right after the workout. As the day goes on and like by that night or the next morning, they wake up and like, wow, their back is just, it is tight spasmed and it's just and depending on the degree of spasm it can be either really debilitating or just there and maybe only a little bit limited you got to take a couple days or so and dial back but this is really what the purpose of that th the purpose of this video is for those people that we just discussed there so the biggest thing after doing some high volume high load deadlifts like that is just creating some movement in these areas that get tight and allowing for tissues to just relax when you have a lot of deadlifts at a high volume or high load, everything is working as hard as possible to help stabilize that position. And it doesn't necessarily know when you're done, like, okay, time to just relax or whatnot. It can just really build up over time. So the first thing I'm going to have people to do is a sideline glute or thoracic rotation stretch that we'll do with a lot of people. So we're going to lie on our back here. You can do something for your head here if you want. But we're going to lie on our back. And we'll start, we're going to stretch our left side here. So bottom leg is straight. Left leg comes over. My right hand is going to be on top of my thigh here. My left hand is really going to be out to the side here. What I don't want, don't just let your arm fall down like that. that that's really not getting any rotation. If anything, you're just putting more stress on your shoulder. So you really want to make sure that this rotation comes from your mid-back, not the lower back. But I also want you holding on to here because you will get a little bit of some distraction and some stretch throughout that back glute, lower back as well. And we're just going to hang out here for like 60 to 90 seconds doing some nice breathing. Breathing in through the belly, out through the mouth. That diaphragmatic breathing is going to be huge as a way to help get things, kind of just get the nervous system and everything else to calm down. Okay, so breathing in, breathing out. We're just going to keep doing that, getting a little bit more each time. Just like so, all right? The next thing we'll do are some nerve glides. I see this a lot of times in people that get spasms after they lift. They might not necessarily have a nerve injury, but just that nerve and the irritability of that nerve is wound up, right? So we're going to be lying on our back here. You're going to straighten your leg up. Toes come down, toes up. Just nice and easy. Flossing that nerve at its most lower part here. You can hold it for a second or two down there. And we're going to go probably about 10 to 20 each leg or so, all right? The next thing we're going to do is a cat cow. Now, with a cat cow, what I'll say is we want to make sure we're going slow with this. We don't want to have it to be a full, like fast one way, fast the other. Okay, so you can have some for your knee if you need to. So we're going to be here. You're going to go ahead, knees under your hips, hands under your hands under your shoulders. You're going to go head and neck first, then mid back, then low back. Okay, so as you saw, I went segment by segment. It's not just this. All right, segment by segment. Then I'm going to reverse it. Lower back, mid back. Now at the mid back, it's not bringing your shoulder blades here together. The shoulder blades stay forward, but you're just straightening that mid back. 
and then up. So one more time, head and neck slow, mid back, low back, low back, mid back, neck. All right. So those are three movements that you can do. You can do a set or two of those after each after your workout. Really, the whole goal is slow movements, syncing up breathing, getting everything to just calm down to help with just your overall body recovery so you hopefully have some less tightness going into your next workout or that night or the next morning. So if you're someone that chronically gets tight in your lower back after deadlifts, squats, any heavy barbell movement like that, and you just have questions about your recovery, leave a comment below or you can text the number below and we'll get back to you with a more personalized approach to help you.